Hice eso y la dejé entonces jugando con el agua con un jarrito. Vengo a esta posición, me pongo entonces, saco el puré del macro, vengo aquí y me pongo en esta posición y empiezo a revolver el puré para que se vaya enfriando. En esos momentos ah, siento que... Y cuando miro, veo la olla ya botando todo el agua. Why did she drop the pressure cooker on the little girl? We found a neighbor who remembers that day, who heard all the screaming, ran over to the house, and the grandmother, in those first few moments, the grandmother was screaming, it exploded, it exploded. She didn't remember that by the time the police got there. What happened was, it started malfunctioning. The pressure relief valve went off and was making a weird noise, so she grabbed it, and it exploded open. Yes, she dropped it. As it was exploding open, who wouldn't drop it? It was exploding open in her hands onto the little girl. When we proved the defect, when we had them, you didn't have to be a genius to figure out we were gonna win that case. I figured out how much it would take to care for Samantha for the rest of her life, all her medical bills, everything she needed, $27 million. She's growing girl, she needed new prosthetics. We wanted her to have the best prosthetics in the world so that she could have a real childhood. But if we settled, there'd be no trial. There'd be no publicity. There'd be no recall. And maybe someone else would get hurt in the future. In that first case I ever tried, there was no child's future at stake. There was no child's life at stake. Little boy already died. And so the family was willing to say, I don't care about money, I'm gonna do the right thing, I'm gonna protect other people. For Samantha, I'd say her very life was at stake, but certainly her future. Was she gonna have a hellhole of a life? Or was she gonna have a chance at a decent life with some real happiness? But no recall. They decided to settle. I recommended that they settle. A corporate killer is an organization, a company, that knows what they're doing, kills people, and does it anyways. What happened to Samantha obviously will affect her forever, and it's going to affect her whole family. A lot of the cases that come to us are cases that others looked at and said no, or there was no angle that they felt was there, and we have to go find that angle, find the case. In Samantha's case, you met her and you met the family. There was no way we were going to give up. If we had a decent regulatory system, if our regulatory agencies were properly funded and they weren't captured by industry, then they would force recalls. But over the last 20 years, the regulatory agencies have been starved for money by these purchased politicians in Congress. And the people that lead them are often snakes that devastate the agency instead of lead. So how do we force a recall? We have to make it too expensive. That can happen slowly over time with lots and lots of bad verdicts, or it can happen with a lot of publicity. The Global Apex Corporation is a corporation that operates on a global scale, plays countries against each other. It chooses the law that it wants to operate under. The crown jewel of corporate power is the ability to commit crime with impunity. I'm not talking about what they want, I'm talking about right now, today, what they have. This concentration of economic and political power always and everywhere is either stopped or it flowers into a true autocracy. That's our future if we don't stop it. Our lives will depend on economic warlords. Most people don't believe me, but I can prove it. I want people to understand what's really going on because the world we're heading towards is like nothing you can imagine and it's about to get a lot worse.